Today we're gonna create that huge surreal tape. Hey there, my name is Ali, you can find me on Instagram at the link in front of you and this channel is gonna get better and better, so make sure you subscribe. We'll start off by dragging our background layer to the canvas. Okay, this is very like portrait, so I'm gonna crop it, use the crop tool and pull it up a little bit until here. Okay, now I'm gonna bring the tape. We need to first Cut out, I'll use the magic wand to do this. I'll hold shift to add the missing parts. Just make sure it's like a clean cut. Yeah, we don't need the, those edges here, so I'm gonna add those parts also. And then I'll just add the rest of the missing parts here and there. Yes, like this. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to la add layer mask and press layer mask. It's inverted, so I'm gonna stand on the layer mask and press Ctrl and I to invert it back. Okay. We still have some edges here and there, so I'll take a, a black brush, make sure it's 100% opacity and hard. And then I'm gonna just paint around it to make sure it's only the tape remaining. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rasterize the layer. Right click and rasterize layer and I'm gonna apply layer mask to get rid of the mask okay we missed one part so we need to delete this thing in the middle so I'm gonna erase this one as well I'm holding shift while pressing click to add making sure my tolerance is 20 not something so high okay and I'm gonna just press delete to delete those okay now what we want to do, we want to adjust the tape position. I want something like this, and I want it much bigger. Maybe something like this. Yeah, okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to close the layer, or maybe we can only just lower the opacity a lot. And then I'm going to follow this line with my lasso tool to make sure that's where we will Cut the tape, so it looks like it's behind that little hill. Okay. Oh wait. I'll press backspace if I made a mistake to jump to the points before. I forgot to get that part as well. Okay. Now I'm gonna stand, bring back the opacity 100% up, and press layer mask. Of course, it's gonna be inverted. Again, I'm gonna press Ctrl and I to invert it back. Okay, now we made the layer, be the tape behind the hill. Now we need to start working on blending it with the environment. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take the blur tool. I wanna blur the edge. I don't want that very sharp edge, so I'm gonna use the blur tool to blur the edges a little bit because like in real life, we don't have that knife edges okay one more thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna add a layer press alt or option and click to link it to the layer below and then i'm gonna use a green color from here maybe use my brush at some low opacity and make sure it's soft brush and color me the lower part with that color and then i'm gonna take the sky color and color the upper part with it. Then I'm gonna change the blending option to color mode and I'm gonna decrease the opacity a little bit. This will help it blend a little bit better. Now I'm gonna go to the, uh, the adjustment, add a curves adjustment layer, link it to the tape. Now the problem with the tape, this is so white compared to the environment. So I'm gonna bring the highlights, which are the bright areas in the photo down a lot and bring the shadows up. Let me zoom out to see. 
Okay, that's much better. See the difference? Yes, okay. Uh, another thing I want to do is I'll add a layer. Now I'm going to use the clone stamp. What the clone stamp does is that you press Alt and click at a certain point and then it just copies it to the other point. Just make sure you have current and below. So it will take the current layer and all what's below of it into the consideration. Now I'm gonna use the grass, it's already, the grass brush is already built in in the Photoshop. I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna hold Alt or Option and press click. So I'm sampling now from here. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of grass at the edge. Here and there. Just to make it like blend a little bit more. Okay, maybe I'll increase the size a little bit. Just to make sure it's like there's variation in the grass. Okay, now what I want to do, I'm going to bring the eraser tool. Here is it. Make it a little bit small. And then I'm going to delete the grass from below. So I'm making sure that just the like the upper part is there. Okay, I want to add like some more layers on the tape to blend it even better. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a layer. Link it below. Make sure the color is same of the grass. And then I'm going to go to the brush. Press right click. Use another built-in brush. This one maybe. And then I'll start adding some of this like leaves. It. I'll change it to overlay and reduce the opacity a little bit. Then I'll add another layer. I just want to make like random shapes to make it look less clean and have like some sort of texture. I'll use this one. It's also built in Photoshop. To open this menu, you just press right click while on the brush layer. Okay, I'll use this one. Maybe I'll use it like add some texture here, some there. Something like that. I'll put it on maybe multiply mode. Okay. And reduce the opacity. All right. Okay. One last thing, and it's like the most important. I'll make a new layer. Link it also below by using Alt and click. Make sure the color is completely black. Take my brush. And now I'm going to use a crack brush. This crack brush set is going to be linked in the description along with the photos if you want to follow along. So I'm just gonna use like some random cracks, add some cracks to it. Make sure just it's like it doesn't look weird or something and there is no repetition. That's why I keep using different brushes or like from different parts. Okay, someone, some here, maybe one, another one big one like this. Okay, that looks good. Maybe like lower the opacity a little bit. And I'll add some more cracks. It still needs texture. I'll lower the opacity a little bit and just like add some small cracks here and there. Okay. Okay, that's like much better now. One last thing I'm gonna do to blend it more. I'm gonna add a new layer. Make sure it's linked below. Go to the clone stamp tool again. Make sure I'm using the grass tool. Sample from here and maybe start adding some grass randomly on the tape. Just to make like give it some texture. No, that's okay. And then I'll reduce the opacity again. Okay, now it looks like a lot less clean. Maybe you can go creative now. You can like use the text tool. Click and write name, wait, name, then maybe do something like that, and then rotate it, increase its size, and to blend it, of course, it's, it's like, it's look, it looks fake, so I'll just reduce the opacity, to make it look more real, more blended. Yeah, you can like write anything you want or maybe add a drawing or add anything. Okay, now we need to add the tree and uh, our model. We'll start by the tree. We'll drag it to Photoshop. 
it's already like PNG, so we don't need to do any cutting or anything. So just rotate it to match the, the tape. Rotate it back a little bit, okay. Now I'm gonna put it on top, go to adjustments, hue and saturation, link it below, reduce the saturation because it's like so colorful compared to our environment. So reduce the saturation and maybe make it a little bit darker, then go to the curves adjustment layer, link it below. I want to bring the highlights down a lot. Maybe bring the shadows a little bit up. Bring the highlights. What this do, it, it, it decreases the contrast in the photo. Because you're taking the dark areas, making them more grayish, like lighter, and taking the lighter areas, making them darker. So it reduces the contrast in the photo. Okay, now we have our tree. I'll just move it a little bit by my keyboard. Okay, it looks good. Now we we'll take our model. Drag her. Okay, you see what happened here, guys? When I dragged him, he, it came between the tree and the adjustment layers. Now the hue and saturation and the curves are targeting the model. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull him up. And then, again, link the hue and saturation and the curves back to the tree. Okay, now I, I need to cut this one. Make it a little bit bigger. I'll use the magic wand here. And I'll just like click on the blacks. Okay, and then I'll use the lasso tool to cut the parts that I don't want. Yeah, and holding Alt, of course, because Alt is what makes the duct, the duct what you don't want. And then a layer mask. Okay, that looks clean. I'll rotate by pressing Ctrl and T, and then rotating him to match the tape. And now it's too dark. I can do two things. I can do it with the curves or just maybe reduce the opacity. Okay, that worked. That worked because the background is like one color. It would make some troubles if there are different elements in the background. Put him more to the... Closer to the tree. Maybe something like that. Always like use the crop tool and press one click. You see this? It's like the rule of thirds already drawn to you. So this is my point of interest, somewhere around here. So that's where I want my model to be, or that's where the eyes should be looking. Okay, now the last thing, I'm going to add birds. You can get like birds from anywhere on from the internet, but here I have a brush which add birds. So I'll just like maybe add some birds here and there. Okay, but wait, it's like, I'll make sure it's 100% opacity first. That's too big. That's too small. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> I'll reduce the opacity now a little bit, so they are blended more. Okay, now the final thing I'm gonna do is add the curves adjustment. Pull up the shadows a little bit. And bring down my, like, mid-tones. And... Bring the highlights even brighter. Uh, maybe I'll color grade it a little bit. I'll just go to adjustments, photo filter. And you can try like see which one you like more. more. You want it like to be cold or warm or. But in this one I'll go for the sepia color filter. It's like it gives a, a, a brown tone to everything. It's like it's dusty. Okay, now we're done with everything. I'm just gonna press hold control shift and alt and then press E. It will merge everything into a new separate layer so I can go to filter, camera, raw filter. And now I can I'll reduce the clarity a little bit and reduce the contrast a little bit. Maybe increase the shadow, decrease the shadows, make it like the shadows darker. And then I'll go to the FX module. I'll add a little bit of vignette. Okay, that's, I'll, I'll show you before and after. That's the camera raw. It looks good now. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any comments, please leave it down below. If you have any requests, if you check my Instagram profile, if you have any requests for any certain edit you want me to do a tutorial for, just let me know, please. Thank you.